What's going on guys? Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. So we just got some news released and I want to be one of the first ones to bring it to you and I actually want to try it out myself because I'm kind of interested. So let's get over to the page and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. This guy right here, Jagonzi, posted NVIDIA 3060 Unlocker for Linux. He said it seems some nice movements are coming. NVIDIA 3060 Unlocker for Linux only with LOL Miner 1.29. This mode allows to mine at a speed of about three quarters of the maximum speed of this card. Then he lists some differences to popular Windows solutions. Um, he's saying one, it works with Linux. Two, it does not fully unlock the card, but partially, so three quarters of the maximum performance, around 40 to 45 percent over the locked card. Three, it allows using risers. Four, it allows using multiple GPUs in one system. Five, you don't need to use an HDMI dummy plug or monitor to unlock this trick. And six, you need to have the NVIDIA Linux driver between 455.45.01 and 460.39. Other driver versions will run at the typical locked speed. He said he's tested one rig with not great overclock settings and he's getting 36 mega hash at nice low watts. So we're going to get over to my Hive OS and we're going to try this out. All right, so you guys can see I have three 3070s right here on the desk. And I have five 3060s just hanging out all by themselves. And my PC just happens to be off. That's because I'm ripping this thing out right now and we're going to get six 3060s on the RevTech motherboard in Hive OS pulling over 30 mega hash per card. Let me walk you guys through this. I'm going to bring this over here. And we're going to get it hooked up. All right, I just threw all six cards back on the RevTech motherboard. Let's fire it up. All right, they're all spinning. So now let's get into my Hive OS, and I want to show you guys how we can get over 30 mega hash on all of these cards in Hive OS on a RevTech motherboard. All right, guys. Here we have it. I have six 3060s at 36, 37 mega hash per card at between 90 and 100 watts. Um, let me walk you guys through how I did this. So I followed a few instructions. I will leave links to everything in the description below, just so you guys know. All right, so obviously first you wanna go set up a flight sheet. So here we have it at your basic flight sheet setup. So what you want to do is basically choose your coin, choose your wallet. You want to choose your pool. I'm in North America, so I'll hit OK or Apply. Then you want to go to LOL Miner. Name the flight sheet, whatever you want, 3060 fix, and create the flight sheet. All right, so now you're back on your main page. You have the flight sheet created, which will be, you know, in your flight sheets here. As you can see, 3060 fix. All right, we have upgraded to the latest uh, version of Hive OS. That's the first thing I did. Second thing I did, come over here to this run command. As you can see, this thing that lights up when I put my mouse over it, that is what I dropped into this run command line. It is version 1.29 for the LOL miner. That is what you have to do to force upgrade the flight sheet to version 1.29. Again, I will leave a link to this in the description. So drop that in there. Basically, from my description, grab it, paste it, and hit run. Let it do its thing. It's going to say a whole bunch of stuff right here. Okay? Then... Once it's done doing its thing, come back to the run command. I will also give you this in my description, which is the NVIDIA driver update, 460.39. I want you to paste this in the run command line and hit run. Let it do its thing, restart it, and voila. You will see the driver down here is up to date, 460.39, and you will see LOL Miner version 
my clocks for these cards, I have the Absolute Core Clock at 1430. I have Memory Clock at 2300, sometimes 2350, depends. I was messing around with it to see how different it made each card. I put the fan at 70 because it's not too hot down here. And Power Limit at 115. You can go to 125, but obviously the lower the better. So that's what we try to do. Then you click Apply, set it for all your cards, and look at that. These cards were only pulling 25 mega hash prior to me doing all this. And I'm not going to lie, this took me hours to figure out. Huge shout out to Style Shifter over in my Discord group, Misfit Mining. Please thank him for this video because he's the one that actually brought it to me to make a video for you guys. He created the latest miner app. Let me pull that up to show you guys. So this site and app that he has created... I believe it's for Android only at the time. It's not for uh, Apple. I don't think they support it, the iOS. Um, but Android, you can download this app. It's called the Latest Miner app. And also, you can download a extension onto your Windows. So when you have the extension, he personally goes through all of these websites, sees if there's any updates for any of the manual miners. As you guys can see, there's quite a few of them. And he posts them. And once he posts them onto his app or site, you then get a notification saying that there's a new update. He got this LOL miner update with the 3060 break and he let me know immediately so I could bring you guys a video on how to fix this. So he has donations down here. If you guys would like to donate to him for being awesome, please feel free to. Obviously it's not necessary. A thank you is perfectly fine. But this is the LOL miner download right here you click on it and it brings you straight to a github not to anywhere crazy so this is like legit site for you guys to download stuff um, his app is great like i said it notifies you when a new miner is available so obviously it's a good thing to have and know but this is just a game changer with being able to do this nvidia 3060 unlocker for linux in hive os it's just unbelievable so hopefully you guys learned something today as you can see, this machine is still up and running perfectly fine. I'll refresh the page. It's stable. It's working. No issues. Just wanted to let you guys know, I did have one issue on this uh, setup down here. So when I had the 3070s on this rig, the 3070s were not showing up. So for whatever reason, something's going on with the driver where the 3060s and I actually had a 1660 on here and it was working fine that was in the studio rig when i was doing testing because i was moving a 3060 back and forth um, i didn't record all that i was just trying to get this video out to you guys as soon as possible so again if you have any other cards on the rig that you're putting this lol minor update on the other cards may not register so just be aware of that just wanted to let you guys know that's what i ran into my 3070s were not registering and my 3060 ti's would not register either um, but yeah, just had to give you guys that real quick. I appreciate you all for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Also, we do have a free discord group where there's clearly a whole bunch of people that are willing to help you out. Thank you so much style shifter for showing me this and letting me bring this to everybody else. Have a great day guys. We'll see you next time.